Good day everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm so excited because my dog Lark is very close to giving birth. Like very close. I think she's a week or two away and unfortunately she has found the most great place to be nesting and that is under Daniel's mom's Maria's bed. So what my plan is today is to create a beautiful cute little sanctuary for her to potentially give birth in but also to feel safe and secure because I think she just likes it under the bed because it's dark. She's there right now. I think I'm gonna go over and show you guys the situation. So Let's go take a look. So she goes under the bed like this. And as you can see, I, tr I tried blocking it off with pillows, um, but she like knocks them out. She didn't knock them out this much. I just moved them, but she finds like a little hole and then she hides under here and then she gets stuck because this bar is shorter than the rest of the bed. So when she tries to squeeze out, it's like really hard for her, but she just loves it under here. So we really need to first figure out a way to block up this so she can't go under. And then I need to create something similar like this so she can feel like she's in a little cave but isn't being squished. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go get a treat and try and get her out. Lark. Do you want a treat? Come on. Come get it. Come get it. Come on. Come get it. See, she gets like kind of stuck because her belly's so big. Come get the treat. You can smell it, I know it. Come on, you want it. Crawl through. Good girl, good girl, come on. Come on, you're almost there. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> come on out. <laughs> She's like, I don't wanna come out. Come on, you have to come all the way out. <gasps> good girl, good, good mama. That's a good girl. Look at how big she's getting and those nippalopolis. Oh my goodness, she's gonna be a mama very soon. Oh my goodness. Guys, I just parked my car at Target and I ran over our freaking pregnancy test. Why is this on the ground? I don't know, we're right inside a Target garage, but it says not pregnant, it's one line. It's not Lark's. Okay, so we're here at Target first before we go to the pet store because, oh, also I'm here with my sister, hi. Hello. Um, she's in town for a little bit for opening up my escape room. If you guys haven't gotten tickets yet, they are still available. If you wanna come and experience what it's like to be an escape the night, then girl, you should get your tickets and get them now. And there's even a ticket in there that you can do the escape room with me. Um, you saw the escape room. Yeah, I loved it. I, I've never done an escape room before, so it was really awesome. We need, I need to take her, show her the ropes of what escape rooms like. Well, I mean, I already showed her with mine, but anyways. I'm here at Target because before we can make her like a cute little sanctuary, we need to block off the bed. And I feel like Target probably has like some shelves or some sort of like mechanism that can block underneath the bed. And then that's our mission first. And then we can figure out a cute little sanctuary type thing. Where should we begin? Um, we should go to the crate section. I don't know. There's yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. The like bins. Yeah, the bins. The bins. Okay, so I'm thinking something. Yeah, I think those type of the bins. Those are the ones I was thinking about. Okay, so we ended up getting four of these long ones that come with lids, and then we'll just put heavy stuff in it to weigh it down so she can't push it. I think this will work. What yeah. do you think? I think it's a good idea. Okay, and then now we should look at like maybe like fairy lights and just like cute things that we can decorate when we go to the pet store, whatever we get for her nest. I feel like we can find some cute things to like spruce it up. Okay, so I'm thinking these string lights, maybe some fairy lights would be so freaking cute just on the outside. So the inside would still be dark, but the outside would look super like whimsical and cute. Oh, these stars ones are so freaking adorable. Okay, maybe I'll do both of these. Okay, so I found this cute little tent that it's anti pants. Anti pants? Um, so it's annoying because they're sold separately, but you have to get the sticks in one and then the actual like fabric in the other. But I think this is so adorable and I can just imagine her just going in there and like nestling in there, but 
I'm gonna get them, but we might find something better at the pet store and I might have to return this, but we'll try it out. Okay, PetSmart, here we come. Honey, why are you in there? Do you need a home? Yes. Oh, she found a home. Good for you, girl. Work. Okay, so this is the other option I was thinking. What do you think? Do you think the tent or this is better? This is a nice big cage. Yeah, it, it is. Might actually be good. And I would just leave it open, like it wouldn't be a closed cage thing. I said we get it. We'll see which one she likes best, and then I'll just return whichever one she doesn't use. So yeah. she's getting a two for one deal. Oh wait, this is actually kind of nice too. This is portable too. I feel like the hard case might be better. Yeah. We'll do the hard case. Oh, it is heavy. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, let's go. I kind of want to see if there's anything else that we might need. Oh my god, look at me muscles. Um, let's see if there's anything else that the puppies might need. I need to go shopping just for the puppies. That might be a separate video. Thumbs up if you want a puppy haul video. All right, so everything is in here, ready to be built and put together. And look who found her way under the damn bed again. I feel like you think this is where you're gonna give birth, but little do you know, you're not gonna be allowed under there anymore. Why aren't you looking at me? She won't even look me in the eye. Lark. <laughs> She's like, don't look at me. Oh, sweet mama. There's not a room under there for you, sweet girl. Oh, don't worry. Very soon you'll have your own little fortress. All right, so I laid out all of the required pieces. I feel like this is kind of like connects, but like on a bigger scale, which I'm so jealous that I didn't have this as a kid because I would have lived for this to make forks in any shape you freaking wanted. Anyways, now I get to live out my childhood fantasy through becoming a grandfather with my soon-to-be grandchildren. So these are the, what are they called, bars? Okay, so we're just gonna have to kind of put the tubes through the holes and play connects. So, oh wait, there's instructions. Oh, okay. You basically just make the skeleton of what the tent is and then you just put the tent around it. So I'm just gonna quickly put this together. I'll catch up with you guys in a moment. Two hours later. The skeleton is built. This took like two seconds to put together. I'm so impressed at how easy this was. I think this will be the cute area that we'll put it in. So now we just have to put the tent around it. Oh, this is so cute. I think she's gonna love this. If she doesn't, she doesn't have taste and I will just own her as my daughter. Just kidding. These are all her toys that she hoards. If any of the other dogs are playing with any toy, suddenly it becomes hers instantly. She's like, oh, that's mine. Oh, you can't have that. Oh, you like that? Well, guess what? It's mine. So she hoards them in here because she knows that this is basically her room. Maria just sleeps in her room. Oh my god, this is so adorable. <gasps> Look. So let's put her bed in here. Maybe I should put this bed in, and then I'll put a blanket that I got inside. Oh my god, I think she's gonna freaking love this. We have that just in case she doesn't like it. We set that up, but the tent is where it's at. So I'm gonna make it look super cute, and then I'll be back in a moment to show you guys the final look. Okay, Mr. Kate is shaking in her freaking boots right now. She has nothing on me and my design skills. <gasps> Oh my gosh, she rose out from it herself. <gasps> Wait, no, that's not the one I spent time on. What are you doing out here? <sighs> are you here for your big reveal? Oh my God, are you putting the things in now? <laughs> you waste no time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God, sweet girl, say goodbye. I smell the treat. You knew before I even asked you. Well, since you came out on your own, you get a little treat. Good girl. The pregnant mama. Okay. Okay, so, are you guys ready for the big house tour? She is. All right, get ready in three, two, one. <gasps> oh my God, wait, this is working out so perfect. She's like so curious about it. Look at the fairy lights, it's so pretty. <gasps> I don't have any other treats. 
Go in there, come on, go see. You have your friends here. You have Mrs. Rabbit, Mr. Um, Piggy, and Mr. Foxy. Go in, go in there. Go ahead on in. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, she loves it. Look, she's going in all her very own. Do you like it in there? Go ahead. <laughs> Get in there. Go ahead all the way in. Oh, sweet girl. Listen, I spent a lot of money and a lot of my time on this gorgeous luxury glamping tent for you. Don't you want to go glamping? How about I go in there first? Wow, it's so spacious. Come on in. Yes. Oh, yeah, come here. All your toys are in here. I feel like she's sniffing it out to see if it's like a safe place. <gasps> oh, good girl. Lay down. <gasps> good girl. Oh, dear. Oh, look she it loves it in here. Is oh. that a thank you kiss? Oh, that's so sweet. I hope this is where she actually pushes them out in. She's kissing me, she loves it. I can't believe she came out on her own. Like she knew I was done with it. She just came out here to see like, okay, let's see. Here's your baby. You don't need me in here. I'm taking up too much space for you. Why are you so sweet? I'm like afraid of getting out and disturbing her. Okay. Oh no, you can stay. Yeah, stay right here. Oh wow. She loves it. Look at her, she's just chilling. She's like, I'm glamping, no big deal. Do you like it? You prefer it from your dark dungeon that literally was squashing your belly? <laughs> well, I think that was very successful. She clearly likes it. She seems happy, even though her ears are back. She's sniffing all the sniffs. Oh, what? I swear she oh. was in there. What do you smell? Tell me she goes she in there. She smells like... She's gonna go in there. She likes it. <laughs> She's like... Ah, smells like Target. You want a treat? Go in there. Go in. Go in. Mark in. Go in and get a treat. Come on. Good girl. Lay down. Down. Good girl. It's a safe place that gives you treats. Alrighty, well I'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit, see how she's faring with her new glamping tent. So, see you soon. Alrighty, so it's actually the next day and I just came in here to see the little girl's in her tent. She loves it. And look who came to visit. And then Daniel's about to come in, I'm gonna show him. And he better freaking love it, so. Come in. Hello. Look at that. She's glamping. She is glamping. That is gorgeous. I know. Except it looks like something you buy like a toddler. What do you well, mean? I turn the camera around and look what a real man builds. Look at that. No, I'm not looking. <laughs> look at it. That is gorgeous. What is that? Iconic. It's called a whelping bed. So, <laughs> Storm. so look, look. Storm, you better be whelping. Okay, so this is so the puppies can't get out. Oh, so this is for the puppies to go. No, it's her. She's gonna have the babies in here. And we're gonna put beds down and mats that are absorbent because there's a lot of liquids. Oh. And then see this little lip right here? Yeah. It's because sometimes the moms smother their children when they're laying back. Uh -huh. So she can only lay back up to here and the baby can crawl on the back and won't die. And then this lip here is so we can clamp on a heat lamp and put it on there because they can't regulate, puppies can't regulate body heat, so they need to stay all nice and toasty. Look at this research. I'm out of breath, I'm uh, sick right now. Uh, but she likes that. Mama, she loves her You know what I can't stand, this. Look at the belt. <laughs> <laughs> My mother is sick. She's a hoarder. This is a fully dead orchid, like, literally. Oh, there's no life in this, mom. So it's how big your belly's getting. No. Stay down this way. You never lie on your front. All right, fine. Those hips. Those hips got big, and those Storm's nipples. jealous. Storm thinks he's gonna give birth. All right, well now you have two options. Cause you can't go she chooses energy. this one. Sorry about no, that. No, I'm gonna put the tent over that. What? No. Yes. yes. Storm wants that dead plant. 
What are you doing, Storm? Why is he acting so weird? Hi, Wolfie. How do you feel about your sister about to give birth? Look at that Bellina. I was actually just um, recording because I was giving Larkisha a little ice cream and I went to open it and look what freaking happened to my nail. Crackled. I need to get my nails done so bad. Oops, at least I didn't like actually break my nail. But anyways, back to the dogs. Hello. Put your dishes in the sink when you're done. I, who said I was done with it? He's so annoying. I don't know how this kitchen gets so messy because we never- Who's he? Who are you talking to? You. Then why'd you say he's? He, you, he. Why like, would... It's hot out. Since <laughs> Literally, since the moment I woke up. He has been annoying the shit out of me. No. Yes, I was working this morning. I got you an ice cream. It's a hoodsie. I gotta go. Do you want a hoodsie? Go. No, I don't want a hoodsie. Eat it. I do want it's a hoodsie. good. Ugh. It's good oh, for you. Stop. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the ice cream. I know you do. Wolfie, I already gave you one. But the queen herself hasn't had one yet. So we need to go outside, get some vitamin D. Also, I got a spray tan in case my face looks a little blotchy. That's why. Come here, girly. Can you be gentle with it? Ow! Okay. That was not gentle. Wolfie, you get a pet. That's what you get. Good boy, Wolfie. We love Wolfie, too. Is that delicious? You need all the sweets. Pregnant women get to eat anything they want, don't they? Because they have to fill their bellies up with milk. Wolfie, if you were pregnant, maybe you could have all the ice cream. He's looking at it like, oh, it smells so good. I wish I was pregnant. So we truly do think that Lark is going to give birth very, very soon, within the next day or two, maybe. Although that's kind of oh, just Wolfie literally just tried to eat a bee. So I'm going to end today's video here. If you guys enjoyed it and you want to see more updates with Lark and her puppies, because I kind of wanted to film the birth. If you think that's a good idea, give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn bye.